and standing. So we started the class, I actually think I started all of the classes I taught this week in the neutral spine. So I'll turn sideways just so you can see. I'm gonna keep the curves in my spine, but I'm gonna take that breath in that we started class with. Exhale, pull the belly in towards my spine and hold my spine steady. So I have, I've tightened my front, but I have not shifted my back. So try that again. Let, your, let yourself relax. Exhale, I'm gonna pick up that low belly, pulling my belly in towards my spine, my spine staying in its neutral position. Right? This is how I'm stabilizing my spine. I don't wanna have to stand in coccyx curl. That's not good posture. Right? That is length and short, but it's not nice neutral posture. So I'm gonna take that breath in, exhale, and hold. So my challenge for you is that you can find this during your daily activities. If you're standing in the kitchen cooking, try and think about, oh, I wonder if I can activate and give myself some more oomph into that without changing my spine's position. And then try it a few times there. Try, if you have to bend down and pick something up, try it if you have to bend over. So you can do your, practice your hinge, tummy tight, I'm gonna hold that position and I'm gonna use those abs tightening to bring me back up, all without bending my spine. Right, holding it in neutral and working my way back up. Right, using those abdominals to do it. You can also find those muscles a lot while you're walking, taking a step, but I don't wanna collapse and have everything be, I don't wanna walk around like this, right? I wanna walk around in this posture. So you can practice that when you're walking around, just practice even shifting weight front to back. Or another great way to incorporate it is to walk on your toes. If you walk on your tippy toes, you're not going to slouch because you won't be able to balance. Right? So walking on tippy toes is a great way to also practice that. So that is your tidbit of the week.